Hello everyone. Welcome back or good to see you again. We're starting up some more videos. The new year's coming. So we're gonna give you some fresh new videos to start off the new year. All right, so what I'm gonna be doing today is a balance video. It'll be about 15 minutes. All right, and everybody of course needs balance. It's great for preventing falls. You know, risk of falling is, you know, so prevalent and important as you get older, even really any age. So here we go. Make sure you're safe, of course. Have the right shoes. We're gonna be using a chair you can hold on to for balance. And then at times they'll say, you know, you can try letting go if you're comfortable, or you can just continue to hold on to the chair. All right, so here's our warm up. Let's start off with a deep breath. Exhale, push down. When you push down, contract your abdominals. Deep breath in. Exhale again, abdominals towards your spine. Right, now hold your arms up on this one. Reaching right and left. Fingers towards your ceiling. It's really long and tall. Now start to lift your heels right, left. We can do one arm up and the other arm down. It's just rhythmic, start to get the body warm. Increase the heart rate a little bit. Now, if you're comfortable and ready, start to push your leg out to the side. Already getting into the balance. Warm up through the outer thighs and the hip area, pushing out. Okay, now it's step touch. Now look how the arms go the same direction as you're stepping. So left to right, almost like you're doing like a skate. So what I wanna do is two of these step touches and then we're gonna hold and balance for a few seconds. So let's try that here. Step left, right. Now watch, balance, and you step touch twice. Now you're on the other leg, left outer thigh hip, step touch. Okay. Sometimes I hold it longer, depending on my balance. Okay, so left, right, hold your right leg out, core tight. Ooh, see, everybody wobbles right to left. And hold the leg out again, perfect. Bring your leg down, squat, knees behind your toes, good form. Let's do a back stretch. Relax your head and your neck. Inhale, come back down to a table, flat back. Exhale, pull your back up around your spine. And then flatten once more. This time, stack your vertebrae, so slowly, one at a time. Right, so head last and then just circle back. Okay, step in. Now come to the side of your chair so you have it right there to hold on to if you need. Oops, how about bringing it forward? Okay, right knee up, slowly lift. Okay, so I'm holding on. Now if you're really comfortable and good with your balance, let go. So spine nice and straight. When you lift your leg like this, you lift your knee, use your lower abdominals. Again, lift the leg up. Two more times. So you know, I'm gonna kind of work around the world. Let's say straighten your leg and freeze. Push your heel towards me, like towards the camera. Standing leg bent. Soften. If you're ready, let go. When you let go, you should feel your midsection tightening up right away. So you stabilize with your core. Bring your right leg out to the side. So now, tap the toes. Bend your standing leg. Let's lift. Up. Right leg up. Good. Take it down. Now, freeze again. Hold the leg out. If you're ready, let go of the chair. Good thing is, it's right there if you need to hold it. Reset, and lift again. Tap. <laughs> lift and hold. Tap, bring your leg back. Okay, so we're still working the way around. Now, reach out into a Superman. So your spine is long, your neck is long. So once you have the move, straighten your neck so you don't hyperextend. And then lift, hold your abdominals up. Now you could take 
the hand from the chair, both arms overhead. You can even start with the foot on the floor, both arms overhead. Okay. Pick a spot, it helps you focus on one spot, and then lift. Right, breathe, breathe, and bring the leg down. Good. Step out to the side. Now you want, I always call this 10 toes forward. Now let's do hands on quadriceps, basic squat. Sitting back under your heels. Glance down at your knees, make sure they're behind your toes. So good form with the squat. Now how about we squat into the knee lift. Right, so you have large muscle groups working in the squat. And you tighten your core and balance, lift the knee. Come down, squat. So you get a lot of toning benefits as well as balance. Lift your knee. Squat. One more time. Let's see if we can balance a little bit longer, this time with the knee. Step out wider in the squat. Watch my arms cross them. Right in between your feet, in between the legs, into outer thighs, abductor, and squat. Lift, sit back, outer thigh. Two more repetition. Back on the heels. Lift, and one more squat. Lift. Squat, come up and go behind your chair. I want to make sure you guys can see. Behind the chair, you're doing this. Shoulder distance, rocking, heels up, toes up. So let's call this heel rockers. Heels up, toes. Heels, keep doing that. And come behind the chair. Heels to toes. Now how about arms overhead. Lift your heels and try to step on the balls of your feet. Right away, you should feel your abdominals engaged to help you stabilize. Heels down. This time, reach with your right arm as you raise your heels. Left arm reaching forward, heels up. Just reach out towards me, shoulder level. Heels come up, reach. Again, heels up. One more left. Perfect, okay now. Behind the chair, alternate like you're doing a tick-tock. So holding or not, let go if you're ready. Alternate, outer thigh and hip. Okay, this is really good to mobility through the hip area and balance. Cool, how we go back on a diagonal, squeeze your leg back. And step straight out to the side or straight back. Now this is how the muscle runs, you wanna go diagonal back. Squeeze, keep your leg long and straight. So hamstring and gluteal. Perfect, one more rep each side, right, left. Now from there, turn out, open your knees, open your hips this way. Now make sure you're in a straight line. You don't want to lean over or over rotate your pelvis either. So let's go straight down. Where your knees follow your toes and your back is straight. Pelvis neutral. Down. Straight down. See your inner thighs working as you come down. Now, could you stay down in your inner thighs? Lift your heel. Let's start with one at a time. Right, left. Right heel up. Left heel. Right. Now, you can always go back up to standing, take a rest, and then join me again back down here. Now try both heels at the same time. Both up, lift. It's a little more challenging. Up, okay, two more repetition. Up, down, one more. And come up, squeeze your inner thighs towards each other, perfect. Step in, right. other side. Now, start off with a knee lift. Let's see if I can remember the sequence. Like I said, knee up, lift. Again, when you lift, you engage your lower abs. Spine straight, take your time. Lift up, down slowly. And come up. Again, if you're okay and good, you can let go. Breathe. 
progress into straight leg freeze. Okay, push the heel up, arms up. Standing leg a little bit bent, so you really don't ever want to lock your knee, your joints in. Just keep it soft, open, and hold. Good. Again, you start to lose it, you bring your foot down, reset, and come back up. Excellent, come out to the side. All right, lift and lower, out of the up there. Okay, so you can do a few with movement, and then we stop, freeze, and that's the balance right there, holding, let your arms go up, holding, breathe, breathe. Bring your leg back. Superman, reach forward. Now you know neck straight. So avoid hyperextending, keep it there. Long legs, squeeze your hamstring, your gluteal buttocks. Perfect. Superman, both arms overhead. Ooh, pick a spot, it helps. Focus on it. Excellent, coming in, uh, feet back apart. You guys, when you do the squats, you can also move back here behind your chair. Simulate you're pushing the chair away from you, and now bring your knees behind your toes, right? It's like you're pushing it away, or if you're good, this is excellent for counterbalance. Straddle the chair with your arms, and you can really sit back and get a deeper squat. If your knees and everything is okay to go lower. Two more, reach forward, sit, and one more. Come up and roll your shoulders up, back, and down. Up, back, up, up. shrug and lift your heels up and down. Lift and lower, two more times, up, down. Okay, look, I'm gonna do one more exercise, watch. This is like a skater. What you do is flex your front foot, you see? Front foot, your toes are up, and your back foot, your heel is up. So you would be like this. This one to hold on for sure. So front toes up, back heel up. Okay. Think of your legs in a straight line. Okay, then, it's really good for balance, Katie. Let go. It's hard. Woo! One more time. All right, so even without letting go, you're gonna get a lot of benefit from the balance now. Other side, flex, dorsiflex, toes up. Let me show you from the side. Toes up and back heel. Okay. Standing tall, so you gotta get standing tall. Okay. So you can even let go, so you can make it almost like a game where you're gonna let go for three seconds and reset, you can put your feet down, your toes down, your heel down, and come up again. Four seconds maybe, let go, focus on a spot. Yes, okay, then you reset, and do it. So you go, come up, toes up, heel up, so you go, I uh, Step apart, yeah, come to the front, Sit back, round your spine, look, we're stretching out. Release your back, squat, cat, drop your chin, open up. So you wanna spread your shoulder blades apart, your abdominals pull up. One more time, inhale, exhale. Shh. All right, good job. Arms out from here. Interlace if you can, or just keep your fingers forward and stretch your spine. Drop the head down, open your back. Do the reverse, open the chest. Chin lifted, shoulders down, relaxed. Take a hold of your right wrist with your left hand. Gently bend the knees, arms to the left. Good stretch in your left. Center, reset. Right hand, left wrist, shoulders drop. Right side, knees are flexed. Breathe. Center, open the chest again. 
push down. All right, now let's stretch out the hamstring, right leg forward, toes, dorsiflex, and chest over. So bend over like you're hinging from your hips, chest over your quadricep. As you come down, you're gonna feel a deeper stretch in your hamstring behind your knee and back of your leg. And lift, go ahead, switch it. Other heel, toes up, flex towards you, hands on the leg, you're not stretching. Chest over and breathe. And lower, you can even increase or progress to a deeper stretch by reaching out towards your toes. Now to come up, support yourself, bring both hands to the right leg, the leg you're not stretching, and come up. So it's a good, safe way to do it, step open, breathe in, let's do a final neck stretch, head right, left arm down. Fingers towards the floor, you guys, increase the space between your ear and shoulders, drop and feel a good stretch in your neck. Breathe, exhale, other side. Reach out and then bring your arm down. We'll increase again. Space. Lift. Neck straight. Deep breath in. Breathe out. One more time. In it. Exhale. Yay. Good job, guys. Keep it up. You can do balance classes. Really, you could do almost every day. You can space it out. Rest in between. The balance is so good for you, you can just keep on doing it day after day. All right, good luck. Thanks for joining me.